is, is tuning the mind for knowledge. And through bhajan, through kirtan, through understanding what we're doing in this life, my dear friends, that life isn't just a rat race, but one should enjoy the journey of this life. Isn't that true? Today we're saying very emphatically as we inculcate the values to insurmount the insurmountable odds in our life. So surmount the insurmountable odds. We're saying, oh Lord, please allow us to enter your realm of devotion. And in this beautiful, beautiful Ramayana, my dear brothers and sisters, there existed a king by the name of Dashrat Maharaj. And this beautiful king was very sad one day. And what happened there, he requested the gurus to come. And simply, my dear brothers and sisters, take that volume down for some reason. He requested this beautiful king, my dear brothers and sisters. This king requested that the wonderful, wonderful sons be born in his life. And do we know who those sons are? None other than Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, and Shatru. And in this beautiful Ramayana, we see that the coming of the Lord was no mistake. And it is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pages of the Balka and the Ramayana that depict this beautiful scene for all of us. And what are we going to learn from this? That is the question. We're going to learn what these names, my dear brothers and sisters, what these names mean in our lives. So we see here in this beautiful Ramayana the plight of the king. And what was his issue, my dear brothers and sisters? King Siddhashti writes in this beautiful Rama Charit Mars. But before we get into this beautiful Ramayana, my dear friends, we will chant the Ramayana Sumira. For those of you who know what the Ramayana Sumira is, Ramayana means the Sri Ram story, the story of the Lord. And Sumira matlab kya is? Maran, to remember. So right now we're going to chant this beautiful, beautiful prayer found in Balkan of Ramayana. And we ask that Saraswati, the Gurus, and every single, every single aspect of the divinity come into our lives today as we aim to transform our lives with these recitations. Jo sumirat siddhi ho hirama jahi sumirat siddhi ho hirama ganalayak kari bar badana kari bar badana Sagar 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 
She asked the question, she said, Acharya Ji, why is it that we bow to our parents' feet? Why do we bow to the Guru's feet? Because if you look at the anatomy of this human body, and I'm, and, and, uh, anatomically speaking, the feet are the support systems of the body, isn't that true? Without the feet we go nowhere, isn't that right? Without mother and father, that's why seva to mother and father is very important in our dharma. Making sure that they are okay, taking care of them, ensuring that they are well protected. This is what our dharma means. So bowing to the feet of mother and father, what does this mean? It means bowing to knowledge. It means bowing to support. It means bowing to those who love us unconditionally. You see, we live in a world where friends and other people will give us conditioned love. Isn't that true? Right? Our friends will say, if you do this, I will love you. Isn't that right? I will love you because. Isn't that right? Condition. But unconditional love means what? I will love you no matter what. So in our lives, who loves us like this? Only Mother, Father and Guru. The rest of the world is, unfortunately, what? Condition. Not you, outside. Not, not <laughs> me. All of you are unconditional loving people. Right? But the people outside in New York. <laughs> so we bow to that Guru that is full of unconditional love, my dear brothers and sisters. Bandha Guru Padakanj Kripa Sindhu Nara Rupa Hari. Nara Rupa Matlab Kya Hai. That wonderful Lord has come in the form of man and woman for you who are gender equality based. So coming in the form of man and woman, my dear brothers and sisters, the word Naraha doesn't only mean man, it means mankind. It is the Lord in this form that we bow to who shows us the way. As a matter of fact, there's a Kabir Dua that says, if Krishna and Guru come in front of you right now, who will you bow to first? Guru, why? Because it is the Guru, my dear brothers and sisters, that takes us to Krishna, isn't that right? There are many people in New York who have no clue who Krishna is, and these are Hindus, unfortunately. And I often think to myself, they must have not had a guru in their life. Bhare bhagya manusha tanapawa. This human body is the greatest gift that we can have. But unfortunately, what have we done? We've only eat, sleep, procreate, and die. That is all we've done. I'm not saying these things are bad. 
What I'm saying is, if human life has only been constricted to eating, to sleeping, to job and procreation, I think we've wasted life. For the Guru comes into our lives and directs us not without, but directs us within, my dear brothers and sisters. Allows us to see the Paramatma, allows us to go beyond the body and mind. Beyond perceiver, feeler, thinker, we enter the realm of what? The Paramatma, the realm of that which allows our senses to be seen and allows this world to be possible. If I ask you the question, where am I right now? I give you permission to point. Where am I? I'm here? Do you think I'm here? Who here thinks I'm here? Raise your hand. What if I told you that I wasn't here? What would you say? Hey, hey, Larka, what pagal hai? Pagal atmi hai, New York say hai. But I want to tell you that I am not here. What am I? I am a projection in your mind right now. I want you to remember this. There's no such thing as the outside world. Everything is happening in the realm of your consciousness. Without consciousness, without awareness, there is no mind. Without no mind, there is no world. Therefore, Bandhava Guru Padakanj Kripa Sindhu Nararupa Ri. It is that Guru that takes us into a shelter that we bow to daily. Why? Because without our knowledge that we get from the Guru of who we truly are, we really advance not in the spiritual world. Then, Mahamohatama Punja. Jāsū vachan ravi kara nikara Jāsū vachan tam punj Tam matlab kya hai? Tam means andhikar, darkness Agnyāna timirāndhasya jnāna jala shala kaya Chakshur unmilitam yena Tasmai shri guravena maha Agnyāna timirāndhasya The darkness of ignorance in our life what is ignorance? Ignorance means when I think I am just the body, mind and intellect and I forget that I am the witness of all of this. As a matter of fact, my brother Omesh, who is Uncle Butch and Auntie Kamali's son, he's a doctor. And he, when he first started about seven, eight years ago, he called me and he said, I'm having trouble. To see all of these sick patients, to have the stamina to do so, to to get the backlash of patients and staff and so on. It's not easy. He confided in me. You know what I told him? Simply look at all of it as Sakshi. Simply look at all of it as a witness. It is all in your mind. And when you see this world from the standpoint of not the mind, but that inner witness, it will be like us no longer playing in the garbage. You know, when a little child goes to the garbage bin, what do you say? Matkaro, don't go there. Isn't that true? In our minds, sometimes we fill our minds with six enemies. Kama, Krodha, Loha, Moha, Mad, Matsarya. Selfishness, anger, greed, attachment, false pride and jealousy. And these six enemies that happen to the best of us, it blocks us from enjoying that natural light within that is the Lord. Many people say, oh, Bhagavan is in the sky. And if I don't do my puja, God will send me. Have you heard that before? Or the Christian brothers and sisters say, God is in the sky, and if you don't go to church, what will happen? He will strike a lightning bolt down on you. My dear brothers and sisters, we belong to a God-loving faith. Christianity, Islam, all of the religions preach the same thing. That God is all loving, but in our minds, because of how we are, we are tremendously insecure as to what God is. I want to make it abundantly clear today that God is not out to get any of us. The Guru takes us within to this realization that God is all blissful, God is all peaceful. And with the knowledge of the Guru, the Mahavakyas of the Upanishads, Aham Ram Hasmi, I am that reality and not this body mind that is filled with all sorts of negative tendencies, low tendencies and false values, but I am that inner bliss within. When the Guru takes me from darkness to light through knowledge, what happens? It is like the words being the sun and the dark clouds being the darkness. My Guru's words are a ray of light in my life. And going further, my dear brothers and sisters, into the Ramayana, we see a very beautiful instance where, as I told you earlier, as I was trying to find the page, 
where King Dashrath, my dear friends, he was going through some trial. He was very sad. But when he finally got his wish, what happened in the wonderful, wonderful palace of Dashrath? 